Hey everyone, it's the Hair Healer. I hope you can hear me okay. I'm doing one of my vlog videos here in Ocean City. Um, I found this kind of quiet spot. It's like, but there's going to be cars, so I don't know, and hopefully no one screams or anything. But I'm back to the garden with the headless statues. I don't know, I love it. I think it's super cool, and I'm like, it's such a weird little place, and I don't know why the statues are headless. Hello. Isn't that weird? I've always wondered about I know, but I love it. It's cool. It's cool. Um, but, yeah, so sorry. I might be talking to people in between this because um, I talk to everyone as they walk by. But, anyways, I'm down here in Ocean City, and I want to do a quick video because I get so many questions as to um, how I started the podcast, why I do the podcast, what work goes into it. And I want to start by saying this, right? Let's bring it into astrology. I'm a rising Virgo. Your rising sign really shows the way you go about life, your personality, the way you do. And Virgo energy is grinding. Virgos love to work. Nothing satisfies them more than work. Um, work, 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 work. That energy. It's I, my person. I personally think that Virgo energy is the hardest working energy um, that's out there. So you have the rising Virgo, and then the rising. Um, I'm sorry. Then the Virgo moon. I'm a Virgo moon, so your moon is not just your mother, it's also your environment. So as you guys know, I grew up and literally lived on a golf course that my grandpa built from a farm, okay, by hand, and my parents took it over, and they were also teachers during the whole time, and my grandma worked. Like, it is literally, my life is work, work is passion, work is good, work is, you know, especially in this creative field in some way, like this entrepreneurship, my family is there, so... Um, again, I work day and night. I work every day. I've been working two years on building this brand. Um, I've been in the hair industry for 15 years. I Even when I was getting high on dope and all kinds of shit, I still went to work. I, I just work every day. And I have been working nonstop when I was doing hair. And then when I would get home, it would be somehow about building the brand, figuring out a way to build the brand, um, and do what I need to do. So let me start with that. I also like to say the Hair Healer podcast I've been working on for a little bit over a year now. Um, and I have spent, I did the calculations the other day. I think I spent $8,000 so far on it. And that is just not my time, the time I put on it either. Okay, so I heard Gary Vee say a couple years ago, um, I spent many years training my mind, listening to things, not just frequencies, listening to like hypnosis work, things like that. And I would constantly listen to people who were successful. Gary Vee was one of them. And he would say, you have to become obsessed and you have to work all day at your money making job and all night work your dreams. Okay. And you can't have friends. You can't have anything. And that is, and I took that to heart. This is my dream. This is what I want. I'm going to work and make money all day. And I'm going to work on my dream because one day it will be a reality. And and that's it. That has to come first. That and my kids, you know? And it was a big sacrifice. Like, I don't even have time for friends, and that's hard to admit. I have my friends. I'm grateful for them, and I know I'm not always... There's a boss. I know I'm not always able to, you know what I mean, reciprocate, but I just don't have time. One day, we'll have time to nourish those relationships. Right now is my grind time, and I'm sorry, and I'm, I'm actually not sorry because, you know, I'm not sorry. This is what I love to do. One day, I will have time to have friends and go out and be social again, but... Again, right now is grind time. So when I started recording the podcast, um, my kid's father was only getting them at the time overnight, Friday nights, and that was it. That was my only night without the children. I worked all day, had work the next day, and every single Friday night, all of fall of 2019, I had a client come in after work whenever it was gone and we record the podcast, which usually from start to finish for me was two hours on top of working eight hours and I'd get up the next morning to the salon and come. I didn't do one social thing. I didn't want to hang out with anyone with no friends. All I want to do is get that podcast done. So that is time. Again, that came above everything. If you want to build a brand, you want to build a business, you want to build a podcast, you have to put everything into it. It has to be a dream. It has to be a passion. It has to be something because it's all you're ever going to do like that you have to because no one is going to believe in you at first right no one believes in you I think it was um Hootie from Hootie and the Blowfish when they first when that first hit say it came out and they were like oh my god where did Hootie come like oh my god they came out of nowhere no they've been grinding for the last 20 years like you are going to have to grind by yourself and unfortunately you have to learn to be good with yourself be learned learn to be the only person that believes in yourself learn to love yourself you have to learn a lot of things to make this work because trust me there are days I wanted to give up I'm like what am I doing this is nothing it's not going anywhere and then that Virgo rising kicks in and says yeah I'm not stopping until I make it until I'm number one and so that's number one if you want to get into doing a podcast and you just want to get you know you're fine with just recording it on your phone 
getting whatever. I'm not saying those aren't a hit, but you're probably not gonna get that far with it, honestly, because you need to invest. Again, I spent, I have someone edit it for me. I had someone make my uh, music for me. I have someone review stuff for me. Oh, hello. I have someone, um, I bought equipment for it. I bought a computer for it. Um, I mean, I could just go on and on. If this is something you want, you have to give it your all. You have to invest and you have to keep going for it and you have to be obsessed. Okay, not everyone agrees with that. Again, I do. This is something that gives my soul air. It gives me life, especially because I'm doing something I love to do. So I am obsessed with it. And one day I will be at a level where I don't have to be so obsessed. Okay, but right now you just have to do it and you have to understand that. So you have to have a really strong passion. You have to give it everything you got and you have to invest money. If you're only going to invest 50%, if you're only going to invest 20%, 10%, that's all you're going to get back in return. All right. If you're going to invest 100%, you're going to get that back. But remember, this will take years. I keep reminding myself again, I would, I remember when I first started, if you look back, I'm like, Ooh, why would I put that as my brand? Or I would, I was going through a lot of painful times. So I would just like put out these emotions and sometimes it didn't always make sense. But You just start putting it out there. No one's going to remember anyways. That's the number one thing. Even with podcasts, with episodes like that, get it done. Put everything into it and just let it go because you're going to get better. As you guys know, I've gotten better in front of everyone. I just do it. Spurt being authentic and you just keep growing. And no one's going to remember. If you put something stupid out there, you say something stupid, you do something, they're not going to remember it after a couple of days, whatever. Trust me. I say a lot of stupid and done a lot of stupid things. So the big things with starting the podcast with working that I suggest, um, oopsie, sorry, there we go. Again, I have no idea if this is even good or coming out or kind of crazy. I'm all over the place like usual, but hopefully I'll hear this and you can actually hear it so I don't have to redo it. Um, if you want to start, let me give these rules, um, not rules, but suggestions to you straight. If you want to start a podcast, if you want to start a brand, if you want to start a business, in my opinion, you have to become obsessed. It has to be your number one thing in life. It has to be while you're growing, you have to put in the work because if you're not obsessed, you won't do it because there are so many hard times. There are so many times where you're going to feel like you're failing. There's so many times you're going to feel like it's not good. You're going to feel like there's going to be people that tell you it's not good. It's stupid. There's going to be people tell you you're not going to make it. And you have to be that obsessed that none of that stuff's going to rock you for too long or make you get off of it, right? Make you get off of your rocker. Um, You have to invest money. You have to invest time into everything you have to have no other life you have to have no other life but this right again it's not forever if you listen to everyone eventually you know you start getting money and you start getting help and you start getting better and things you know eventually do that but um that's what you have to do so i'm down here in ocean city again i don't know if any if any of that even helped i feel like it's just like my morning ramble i guess i really needed to talk and um i'm down here with Uh, my kid's father and my kids and the family and we vacation every year together we've been together for years but it's great I mean I can come do these things like this and I shared it before and I don't feel like I need to really nourish the relationship and um, what else is funny about the hair healer brand is he's sort of um, kind of a silent partner in a lot of stuff already so again we repeat the same environment we're in my parents were divorced and lived across the street from each other and owned a business together and taught together for many years, that's what I saw, and never ended up back together. <laughs> they divorced when I was six. So um, he is my silent partner, and I guess he'll sort of have a voice as it comes, but he's taking care of a lot of the business stuff for me because that's just not where my brain is the best at. Those finey business law details, that's not me. Okay, that's not me. I'm just like, oh, whatever, I'll work out along the way, as you guys can tell. So he's figuring that out. Um, but if you have a pod, if you want to do a podcast, you want to do a YouTube channel, give it your all. Believe in yourself. If you don't believe in yourself, start listening to positive affirmations. Start listening to, um, you know, writing down. I can't tell you how many days I would spend. I used to, uh, four years ago, I had this piece of, I had this notebook. And every week, whatever I wanted to attract, whatever ability I wanted to have, whatever dream I wanted to create, I would write it in a sentence 50 times a day every week whatever it was and I would constantly all I'd be listening to people using the law of attraction and changing their mindset so there is a lot of mindset soul work that went into this before I started to birth this so here we are at Ocean City this is my dad's favorite place to come every year and just have a blast and 
I guess, worry about his, you know, let all of his business worries go. And here I'm starting to do it. So it's been 10 years since he died. And I just wanted to be where he is um, and close to him. Again, I don't know who actually listens to these the whole way to the end, but I'm grateful and I love it because that means you can follow me. You can follow my brain, which is cool. I'm just talking to talk now to myself (laughs) because again, a Virgo, a big Virgo energy, your best friend is yourself and you're constantly thinking about your about You're just talking to yourself all day long. You're entertaining yourself in your head. Uh, Same with Gemini. It's that Mercury energy, right? That brain, we're constantly moving up here. So it's easily entertained. Um, So I guess I'll try to end this now. Give it 110%, whatever the fuck you're doing. Just fucking give it 110%. Fucking do it. Be obsessed. You're going to have to be obsessed and be passionate or it's never going to make it. That's the best advice. Love you all. Bye.